Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth, the Minister of Beauty. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you already are subscribed, I'm gonna let you know I really do appreciate it. And you can go ahead and like this video while you're at it. And if you are new here, just to let you know a little bit about me, I am a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur. I have been an entrepreneur since 2006 and one of the current businesses that I do currently still own and operate. I've been doing that since 2008. I'm a licensed esthetician. I'm also a skincare line creator and you can go to the links in the description box to check out my websites and find out more about me. But I wanted to come before you guys. I like to do business inspiration videos on Mondays and honestly, we are in the beginning of March 2024 and I cannot, I won't say I cannot believe it because I actually can. Time doesn't wait for anyone. It just is moving and it's moving, it seems like pretty swiftly. Um, I was having a conversation with somebody and we were talking about it seems like the older you get, the faster time flies by. I don't really believe that and I'm actually saying that as some encouragement <laughs> because I don't want it to seem like we're racing to the finish line of life of getting a certain age and then it's done no I just believe that when you are older when we're adults we have responsibilities so it always seems like there's not enough time in the day but when we're children you know we don't really have many responsibilities it's it's almost like what you you go to school when you were younger you had to take naps you didn't want to take a nap but now you would pay <laughs> for a nap and so as an adult some of us are parents some of us may not be but we all have responsibilities and it just seems like there's never enough time in the day so i actually can believe it's already the beginning of march of 2024 but time is moving and it's moving swiftly so with that being said, I just wanted to talk about something to encourage you guys. I want to share a scripture, um, Proverbs 16 and 9. And the scripture is that in their hearts, humans plan their course, but it is God, it's the Lord that establishes their steps. And I know sometimes it feels like the plans that we've made for our life and the course and trajectory that we want our life to go on, it may not be going the way that we plan and it can be a bit discouraging but we also have to just remember that honestly even if we don't really believe it we all have a purpose that we were called for it's not so much what we want to do all the time but i do believe that in that purpose that we were called for i do believe that god desires for us to enjoy our life be prosperous be healthy um and and also being able to help other people along the way as we go through the trials of life. And I can definitely attest to going through the trials of life. Yes, I am a successful business owner. I definitely am. But that's not to say that I haven't been going through a number of things. And not just in business, but in my personal life as well. I don't really get too deep into my personal life. I've shared a few things with those of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel that is even hard for me to even think about doing because I'm a very pretty much private person. Some people may be an open book and I'm pretty much a diary. I don't, <laughs> I don't put it all out there, but I've shared that my husband was diagnosed with complex PTSD. He is a veteran. He spent a number of years in war zones in Afghanistan, Iraq, Kuwait, and I don't even know everything that he's experienced over there and not to go too deep into things but honestly the past four years have really been tough and it's been even tougher as we've gotten to this point and I'm, I'm grateful that he is still here as well as I am because I could honestly write a book about everything that I've experienced because I never thought that I would go through these things and neither did I think that he would either but it has made things a bit more difficult for me because in a sense I have become a caregiver in a way that I did not expect to become as well as being a business owner where I am dealing with so much with the general public and dealing with employees and just different things that I have to deal with as a business owner 
it can be tough to deal with all of those things culminating together. And sometimes you just want to like say, I've had it. Enough is enough. And I wouldn't say that I've not had those moments. I absolutely have. But, you know, in this world of social media where we pretty much see people's highlight reels and people want to showcase the best of themselves, not to say that there are not people that haven't shown the worst because that can even be profitable and it has been profitable for some people if they're comfortable doing that. Like, for example, the chick who went viral on TikTok, uh, Risa Tisa is what she called herself. Who the F did I marry? I think it's like a 50 part series she did. She wound up being on the Tamron Hall show, getting millions of views on TikTok, just talking about some dark things that she went through being married to someone that she said was a pathological liar. I haven't watched the content, but I've heard about it. But I'm just basically saying that not everyone is comfortable sharing those things, but there honestly are a lot of people who have similar stories as her, but they just don't want to get out there and share it. And so I'm saying that I've been going through a lot over the past um, few years. It really has been difficult, a lot of difficult moments, but I have solace in knowing that this is not the end. I know that I'm just going through and we may go through things, but the most important thing to do is to keep moving, to go through, not to just stand stagnant and give up and lose hope and throw in the towel because the the word of God never said that we wouldn't go through things. And in actuality, it's one of the hard things that a lot of people really don't want to admit that when those of us who are believers, that's actually one of the promises that we would go through trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer. We're supposed to know that we're going to overcome, so not to give up because it's promised that we would go through things. So I would be a liar if I sat before you all and said, yeah, everything is always perfect. Everything is always amazing. I've done nothing but win in my business when in my household, when in my marriage. I'm grateful because there are some things that some people went through in relationships and marriages that I have not experienced, but I'm not here to say that I haven't gone through some things. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to just come before you, do this video that's unedited. I'm not doing any editing. I don't have my hair done. I don't have on any makeup. You may hear sirens in the background. It just is what it is because when I have been going through the things with my husband being sick, because it's not just PTSD, it's brought on some other health issues that I'm not going to go into all of those things, but it's really been not easy. It really hasn't been easy. And to get him the help that he needs and to go through programs and the help that he got, the, it wasn't really helpful. It may have helped for a moment and, in, in, you know, a moment in time. But after a while, things got worse and it, it just made you feel like, w what was that all for? And to know that this person is someone that has served his country and just not really getting the help and support that was needed, it was just extremely discouraging. And just getting to the point where you're just reaching out to say, look, I need help. <laughs> you know, my husband needs help. I need you all to step it up and, and I'm thankful because we're on a trajectory of getting some different treatment and things like that. And I'm just really grateful for that. And I have all the hope that things are working out, but I'm just dealing with what I have to deal with and going through what I have to go through and not giving up on that. And also having to still operate my business. So I've downsized my business. I don't have multiple locations like I used to have anymore. I'm focusing on some other areas of business now that I'm not going to get into all of those things right now, but just pivoting and doing some things differently, but not giving up, just doing some things differently. And I believe that that has been something that a lot of people have had to do or made the decision to do ever since the pandemic hit. We've seen it in so many different areas of business, whether it's real estate, uh, commercial, residential, um, you know, just a tech, a, a number of different things, restaurants, so many different types of businesses 
have had to make pivots and changes since the pandemic because of things being different, because things happen. Like the scripture I just mentioned, you know, we as humans, we make plans, but it's God that directs our course and our steps. So not to give up, but also just realize and recognize that we may think we have it all in the bag, but we really have to remember that there is something greater <clears throat> that is keeping us, that's leading us, guiding us, and directing us. And if we remember that, realize that, recognize it, and don't discount that or disgar- disregard that, you can continue to elevate and move higher in spite of the things that may be making you feel low or making you feel like you know you're being pulled down or it's a heavy weight because it's really been a heavy weight dealing with the things that I've been dealing with and so there's hope and when we see other people on social media where it just looks like they have everything in the bag all put together just looking perfect that's not real and I was talking to someone recently and this just came up and I started speaking about it and I said oh my god this is so true but we just started talking about social media and how it just seems like people really showcase the best of themselves on social media and It came to me, and I want to share this with you all. You remember back in the day when they used to do CDs? And I sound so old when I say that now. But remember when they used to do CDs, even cassette tapes, where it may be a music artist, and they've had a number of different albums, and then they have a best of. And it's a collection of the hits. Like I remember when I had, and I think I still do, I'm pretty sure I still do, um, my CDs. And I had Prince, the hits, and I think it was two, two CDs, hits one and the hits two. And it was just a compilation of the best of. And we know with Prince, it's like, it's so many, right? But what about all of the other great music that they had created that may not get the radio airplay? People may have had the full album, but they skipped over those because of, yeah, next and you want to really hear the ones that you recognize or that gets the radio airplay and skip over the ones that didn't get the radio airplay but they're all works they're all things that they put their time and efforts into doing and somebody should appreciate that but in our lives especially if we want to showcase that and put it in a pretty package and wrap it up in a bowl and present it on social media, we are showcasing the highlight reel. But for us, not saying that you have to share that with everybody, but don't disregard all of the things that you have gone through and experienced because they all have a purpose and they all have meaning and you can learn something from all of it. So all of the things that I have been experiencing, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I am taking it all and I am using these experiences, looking at them as learning lessons and what did I learn from it and you know what can I help someone else with out either presently or in the future from what I went through and what I experienced and not just focus on the good of it all because we can teach people from our mistakes we can teach people from the bad decisions and bad choices that we've made it can't always be about everything that's beautiful can't always be the highlight reels the best of the greatest hits the collection of the hits hits one and the hits two it has to be everything And you may not present that to everyone. And that's fine because honestly, everything that we go through isn't to be consumed by everyone, but it is for someone. But most importantly, it is for yourself. So if you own a business, if you are aspiring to own a business or you are, you know, fiddling around with some different things and you're trying to figure out what's what, and it just seems like you've 
you've been going through so much and it doesn't seem like things are just really working out for you. You don't know what to do next or it just seems like so many negative situations or you may call them negative, but they're not the wins. It's not the fun moments. It's not the celebratory situations that you would prefer because honestly, who wouldn't? Everyone wants to toast it up, cheers, celebrate, whoop it up, but that's not life. And I believe that that's one of the things that I can say that's helped me in my journey of life because I know that I have addiction in my family. My dad has dealt with addiction for years, still is, even at his um, age of um, drugs. And I'm just grateful that I learned at an early age that life isn't always going to be pretty. Life isn't always going to be fun. Everything isn't always going to work out in life. And everything isn't always going to feel good. And I feel that that's one of the things that people get in trouble with when they turn to people, things, substances, because you're going through some hard things and you want to feel better. You get addicted to things that will help you to feel better for the moment, but it's temporary. It's for a moment, but the issues are still there. And I learned a long time ago that I don't want to get on anything or get attached to anything or get addicted to anything because it's just for a moment. Life isn't always about feeling good. Life isn't always going to look good. We have to know that we're going to go through things and you can't turn to things to just put a Band-Aid on it or make you feel better for the moment. You have to focus on the issues and okay, what can we do to resolve these issues versus oh, well, I just want to take my mind off of it. I need a drink. You know, like that type of culture that the world has become when people get stressed out and they just, oh, well, I need a drink. I need something or whatever. The issues are still there. Life isn't always going to be the edited version. Actually, it never is the edited version. It's never the highlight reels. It's never the greatest hits, the best of, hits one, the hits two, the hits three, you know, (laughs) depending on how many great things you've had experiences of in your life, life is about everything, using everything that you have gone through and learning something from it and also helping someone else who may be going through those things as well or will go through those things. So try your best to live life unedited. Don't try to cover it up for the sake of other people because honestly, People, for the most part, they're focused on themselves. And if they're not focused on themselves and they're just focused on you or other people, then they really have problems and they need help. And I could go into some things talking about that, but I'm not going to go off on a tangent about that right now. But trust and believe when I say that, people really need to focus on themselves versus focusing on other people and what they have going on. It's fine to comment about stuff if you see something that's in your face or trending or whatever, but to dig into someone else's whatever because you think you know something, then you really are taking too much time off of yourself and focusing on other people and what they have going on. And if you're operating a business, that's one thing that I can say that I've never done. In all of the years of me owning and operating a beauty business, I never took the time to search out to see what other people are doing who are in the same industry as I am. Because one, I don't care. Two, they're not me. And three, and most importantly, I believe that God is my source and there's enough for everyone. So I'm not going to waste my time, my precious time that I'll never get back focusing on what other people are doing. I'm going to focus on me and mine and what I need to do in order to help sustain and grow what I have but even in all of that it doesn't mean that everything is perfect and pretty and I'm okay with that it's been hard over the years just because of how I was created because God made me the way I am and yeah I do believe that a lot of people like myself who are Virgos those of you who are Virgos you can relate if you're a Virgo let me know in the comment section but a lot of us deal with that perfectionist thing Beyonce is a Virgo. She's a September Virgo. I'm an August Virgo. A few days um, before her birthday. But with that being said, I understand 
her work ethic. And even though I don't have the money and <laughs> the assistance and all of the things that she has to create the empire that she has created, I respect it because I know that that is a Virgo thing. It really is. And we want everything to just be so perfect. And it's a great thing that she's been able to create that in her life. But I have learned to become okay with knowing that everything isn't and will not be perfect in my life and in my business. But I'll do the best I can to perfect it as much as possible. But it doesn't mean that I'm not going to come before the world unedited. I'm not going to just try to my best to present the highlight reels or the the best of or the greatest hits to bring to the public. No, I'm letting you all know that I'm a human being and I've gone through things. I'm still going through things, but I'm not giving up and I'm still moving forward. So I just wanted to share that with you all to encourage you. I'm grateful that these years that I have been having the opportunity to experience what I have been learning about post-traumatic stress disorder and depression and other health issues that my husband has experienced as well as things that I am experiencing either by proxy because of what he's been going through or just because of what I've been going through myself. I'm learning and I'm growing through it. I'm learning and I'm growing through it and I'm still here and no matter what comes or who goes, I'm grateful that my God, the God in me, the God that I believe in, that I, the God that I believe that keeps me, I have not thrown in the towel even when there have been moments where I felt like I just could not take it anymore. I'm going to sleep and I'm waking up to see another day and just believing that all is well and greater is he that is in me. So I really hope and pray that you all are doing well. If you got something from this video, share it with someone that you know, like, and love. If you are not subscribed to the Minister Beauty channel yet, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am the Minister of Beauty and I share the Bible that's business inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. So until the next time, guys, I really hope and pray you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day and do not be afraid to live life and operate your businesses unedited, not just focusing on what could be the highlight reels, the best of, or the greatest hits.